Hey guys, what is up? It is Destiny and I am here again with another video. So for this video, I actually wanted to switch it up a little bit um, from my regular content, but I actually want to talk about um, school kind of. I'm in college. Um, I'm in my third year of undergrad. Um, I go to school for sonography and if you don't know what sonography is, um, sonography is the use of sound waves to like view atomical images in the body. Um, that's like a really like good definition because I'm just, I'm like in a science mindset with like my field. But anyways, sonography aka ultrasound is what I go to school for and I actually want to, um, tell you guys like how I actually got into sonography school. So it's actually... Um, it's not a long story, but it's it's a, a unique story. So basically three years ago, um, I was a freshman in college and I was going to school for nursing because I thought that was something I wanted to do. Come to find out, it wasn't. But I didn't know that back then. So for pre-nursing, I took my prereqs and everything um, and I found out I didn't want to do nursing in the summer before my sophomore year of college i was in a dilemma i was like i don't have a passion for nursing like i honestly don't see myself doing this and i think the reason i majored in nursing was because they make good money and stuff and after thinking for like months i was like you know what i kind of i don't want to go to school for something for the money i actually want to enjoy it and i wanted to go to school to be in health science, the health science field. Like I knew for a fact I wanted to be in the health science field. So I was like, I have to find something. So I spent a majority of the summer before my sophomore year of college um, trying to figure out what I wanted to do. And I came across sonography. And when I had came across it, it was like a lightning bulb had like came on over my head because I was like this is something I'm interested in and ultrasounds you know um pregnant women they get ultrasounds done to look at to see their babies and I thought that was really cool because no other technology can do that and I just think it's very in interesting to see how a baby can grow inside a woman's stomach and also with sonography there's other things like abdomen and cardiovascular and stuff like that but um OBGYN and snarfy really caught my attention so I was like okay this is what I want to go to school for what do I need to do so I looked at prereqs and also at my other school that I went to I had everything set in place I was an RA at my other school I had my tuition and everything was paid for and I was like you know what I'm just gonna spend this last year at this school just taking prereqs and then hopefully I'll be able to transfer. So the prereqs that I had to take to get into my sonography school, I had to take um, a writing composition class, college algebra, human anatomy and physiology with lab, physics with lab, a general psychology class, and then I had to take a humanities elective and um, I actually took a literature class um, at my old school. So I took those prereqs and the process for my program is we had to take the prereqs, we had to get two recommendations and there was an interview. So those were three things that, you know, determined if I could get into the program or not. And I remember during my interview, um, they only told us eight people got accepted in the program. And you know, any health major is super duper competitive and I was super nervous because my grades were decent but they weren't where I wanted, they weren't what I wanted them to be. In physics, I got a B. In human, anat in human anatomy, I got a B and a C plus. I got a C plus in part one and a B in part two. Then in my other classes, such as college algebra, the humanities elective, and the general psychology class, and the writing composition classes, I got all A's in those. So I was just nervous about that physics and that human anatomy because human anatomy and physics play a big part in um, sonography and I was just really nervous about receiving those grades. So I had my interview for the sonography program on March 17th of this year. I had it on St. Patty's Day. I think it was St. Patty's Day. And 
um, about a month later, I had received an email um, saying that I had got in and I was honestly so excited because sonography was something that I really have a passion for and I really wanted to get into this program and with nursing, I didn't feel like that at all. So um, I'm at my new school now, I'm in my sonography program now and honestly, I think if you're ever interested in sonography, I say go for it because you know, I doubted myself and everything I just overthink a lot and you just got to be really confident because if I can get in with the grades that I did then you can get in with your grades I know with some sonography programs they want you to have an A in all your classes different schools have different requirements for their sonography programs like I know some schools may require you to take an entrance an entrance exam they may require you to have background health care experience I actually go to a four-year college um, but I, before I had made the decision to transfer, I was actually supposed to graduate in 2022, but my program is a three year program. So I will be graduating in 2023. I know some community colleges offer sonography programs. Like a lot of them are, you get an associate's degree, but I'm getting a bachelor's degree in sonography, but it all, it all depends on what school you go to. I had the option to go to a community college um for sonography but their requirements were a little too much and i kind of didn't feel like i was going to get in and i didn't apply so i only applied to one sonography program and i got in i applied to one and i was one out of eight people that got accepted into the program but with sonography prereqs you just gotta you really gotta be on your stuff like i wish i had took anatomy and physics the same semester and whoo that was a lot to oh and i took medical terminology the same semester so yeah um i think what can increase your chances of getting into sonography school is to take some classes that they will actually require after you get accepted into the program so saying for instance your prereqs are anatomy physics all what i said beforehand and your first semester in sonography school, you're supposed to be taking a um, statistics or medical terminology. If you can, try to take those with your prereqs because that's gonna make your application stand out. That's what I did. Like a lot of the classes I was supposed to take this semester, I took them already. And I think that kind of made my application stand out, but try to go above and beyond to make your application stand out me getting into sonography school was based on a point system so i got points for my prereqs i got points for my recommendations and i got points for my interview i don't know what my points were because they never told me but they must have been good enough for me to get in my program um gpa for sonography programs it varies by school i know the average gpa to get into my program was like a 3.3 or 3.4 and they took your overall GPA like from all your classes including the prereqs and other classes you've taken and they took your GPA for just your prereqs and I know my prereqs GPA was a 3.4 and my overall GPA was a 3.6 so I had a pretty decent GPA so GPAs they vary by school but honestly I just feel like for any program I'm I'm not gonna speak on everybody's program but for me personally I think you should strive for like a 3.3.5 or higher GPA if you're applying to a sonography program because I think that's really gonna make your application stand out when applying for a sonography school I think it's really important that you apply to more than one program I say try to apply to at least two. I only applied to one and I got lucky, but don't don't um, take my experience and think, oh, if I apply to one, I might get into one. No, apply to as many as you can because you don't wanna apply to just one and then you don't get in and you're stuck. So always have a backup plan just in case and when it comes to prereqs just try to get a's in all your classes because it's going to make your application stand out um and during your prereqs especially anatomy and physics study um anatomy um if i could go back in time like i'm gonna be completely honest in part one of anatomy i just 
I did not study like I was supposed to. And that was in that C plus, that was the reason I got that grade because I did not study like I was supposed to. But and plus my professor was really hard. I had him for two semesters. He was very hard. But anyways, anatomy and physics, make sure you really study and understand the material because those play a big part in ultrasound. And um just have confidence when you're applying to the program like every university or community colleges ultrasound program um is different so make sure you look into what your um school's sonography program what their requirements are because you can start the application process and do what you need to do so you can get started on your journey into getting into sonography school but Overall, I just hope these tips and everything that I gave you and my experience um, was interesting. Um, I think it's interesting because it's kind of like my journey here was not easy. Like, whoo, it was not easy, but I did it. And I believe that if you have a passion for something, just go for it. Even if it's not sonography and you have a passion for it and you're kind of nervous about it, just go for it. Just go for it because if you have a passion for it, in the end everything is going to be good so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and please make sure you like comment and subscribe for more content and i will be back with another video bye y'all